Hello, we are here with the Jackie Sponsor, a master cannabis grower from California who recently made the Nia to Israel and we are going to speak about uh, growing cannabis. How are you Jackie? Good, good. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you for having me. Oh, well, thank you for coming to, to talk with us. Yeah, of course. Uh, let's uh, discuss a uh, controversial issue in Israel. Yeah, so we were, dis- we were actually well, we've been talking about comparing, contrasting, I guess, the difference between California and the cannabis industry there growing and Israel. Yeah. And there's definitely a difference. You have a list of every little detail about that flower on how to judge it. Mm-hmm. And one of the things, the categories that's always on there is the flush. We have to grade the flush. So when I'm here in Israel and I hear people say, Oh, why flush? Why? So what, what do you think? Like, what's the difference between a flower that is flushed and a flower that was not flushed? Okay, so a flower that is flushed and a flower that is not flushed. Essentially, flushing is rinsing out the, the, all the, like, while you're growing, first of all, let's explain like, what a flush is. Mm-hmm. So essentially what a flush is, is when you're growing throughout the cycle, you use a lot of different, you add a lot of different types of nutrients and yeah, nutrients and a bunch of other stuff to help the plant perform and yield its best fruit and flower. Um, when you're doing that, a lot of times the nutrients will be in, inside the root ball, like whichever medium you're using, will, will have a buildup of all the nutrients. Mm-hmm. And what you what you want to do is always continuously, maybe I do every two weeks, some people will just do it at the end of their flower, it depends, everyone has their different techniques. But because I use a lot of different nutrients and stuff, I do it quite frequently, you want to you want to wash all those nutrients out and keep a clean cycle so that the new stuff can come in. Now, when you don't do that, what, ha- what can happen is you'll produce a bud that's going to be a little bit like concentrated, so to speak, of all this like added chemical nutrient stuff, gunk. You need as much like things as common that nature provides in the indoor operation. That's why we have fans. That's why you put fans at different levels to simulate wind as well as temperature. You have to have a lot of different things. That's why rotating lights are technically better. Every little detail will help your yield in the end to make it better. But one of the most easy ways for like an introductory person to do a flush is go ahead and pick up any flush product at your like a local grow store and just follow the directions on there and essentially um, you know, I get to take that most people here in Israel do hand watering, top watering, right? Yes. They, you know, yeah. So that's even easier. Huh. Oh, we need a secret. It's okay. Yeah, but blushing is very important for health. Yeah. Yeah. So just go go to your local hydro store and, and get a good flushing. At and, least the last two weeks in the flower. Yeah, you right. must do it. You yeah. must do it. There is a and, very big difference. Yeah, there's such a huge difference. It saves money at the end of the day, and not just that, but it just. It saves money and it makes more money. Yeah. I mean, I find that though now in, Cal- in, in, in Israel, it's in, the buyer is not, it's a seller's market. Yeah, it's a seller's market, big time. Big time, because yeah, you don't, quality doesn't really matter to the buyer. It's not like, oh, I'll go to somebody else. This it's is like, what oh, I got. You have. This is what I got. Like, you don't even have a choice between like different seller. Yeah, yeah. I, that was one of my first lessons when I had to buy trim to, mm-hmm. to smoke here. They're like, this is all we have. I'm like, it's just nothing like that. <laughs> I'm going to move live here. <laughs> this is going to be a problem. <laughs> I don't think I had to plan some things out. <laughs> this is like that. It was like, okay. It made me want to come and help. Mm-hmm. Excellent. I mean, we got it down in Cali. So, uh, Jackie Sponsor, thank you for uh, being here and talking uh, about Flash with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure.